So we just got 12 minutes of Spider-Man 2 gameplay, and I for one feel like a crazy person, because while everyone is losing their minds and weeping tears of joy while they kiss Insomniac's feet, I couldn't help but feel disappointed. My hope for this game was that it was going to do something truly innovative with its gameplay and its characters. It's featuring the symbiote, so give us a darker story with more stakes, introduce character conflict, develop Miles for <laughs> sake because he has about as much personality as the plank of wood, have a greater focus on gameplay than cinematic feel. But in just 12 minutes, Insomniac was able to quash just about all of those hopes, and it was impressive, really. But before you all call me a contrarian and hack down in the comments, let's start with the things I liked. The, uh... The suit looks cool. For real though, Craven's introduction is very strong. I like his design, I like that he just straight up kills a dude. He's established as an intimidating presence right off the bat, and this move to New York and implied hunt of the lizard is a really fascinating plot point I hope they utilize in interesting ways. The symbiote has a strong entrance and has the kind of brutality I was at least hoping for. Of course it doesn't compare to Web of Shadows where you can throw cars and surf dudes like they're wakeboards, but hey this is modern AAA. Everything has to be super cinematic and kind of gameplay that's unrealistic and breaks my immersion. Who cares if it's fun? Sorry, I'm trying to be positive right now. The slingshot looks awesome. The wingsuit is just as cool. And yeah, that pretty much sums up all of my praise for the gameplay. From there, we are forced to enjoy hilarious one-liners from the annoying sidekick. Genki, the lizard's loose at the fish market. Must be sushi night. <laughs> A stealth system that has clearly not been updated despite being the weakest element of the previous two games and recycled game mechanics that have been dressed up to look pretty. Remember those fake quick time events that you used to stop cars in the previous game where you press two buttons and the game just plays itself? Then you have to swing for a bit until the game decides you can press those two buttons again on the next car. Well that's back in full force except it's jet skis now. Whoa. Exciting. Shut up, Ned. Your ass is so annoying. This is Rise of Skywalker tier dialogue. They fly now? This is really, really exciting. Speaking of the dialogue, Peter's overly edgy, grumpy voice is incredibly distracting. He's gonna wish he never came to New York. You underestimate my power. Which is wild because Yuri is a great voice actor. But honestly, I don't blame him because no one could save writing like this. I've got the metal murder bird. Poison clouds. That all you got? Time to go boom, boys. Oh. <laughs> and then we put back into the shoes of Miles for another on rails section, glorified cutscene, which means more annoying banter. Be faster. Fly faster. They fly now. And the button prompts that are no doubt impossible to fail since the game literally goes in slow motion when you need to dodge out the way. And the creme de la cringe culmination is this moment right here. I'm just going to let it play out in all its glorious cringe. Just watch. One, two. You can't make this up. It's, well, honestly, it's hilarious. Especially the way Peter tries to say the oop part of alley oop but in his super serious grrr voice. <laughs> oh my god. The most amazing part of this trailer is the huge lack of gameplay in this gameplay trailer. Let's go through and edit up, shall we? So we've got the fight in the beginning, the swing with Miles and the stealth section, and then it's all on rails, cutscenes, or walking forward, which don't count. So all in all, that gives us two minutes of gameplay. Two minutes of gameplay in this gameplay reveal. It's a 12 minute video. I don't know, man, I'm tr I wanna be optimistic, but this is just so strange. It's such a strange reveal. Spider-Man 1 was fairly safe and by the numbers that did everything right but nothing amazing. Miles Morales was half a sequel with improved gameplay mechanics but a thoroughly bland protagonist and an inconsequential story. Neither of these games innovated in story or gameplay in a way that was meaningful or impactful and now I have little hope that Spider-Man 2 is going to change that trend but I guess all I really want for this franchise is it for it to live up to its potential, to push the boundaries, to be greater. But that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments how much you hate my opinion, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.